Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. As you can see, we're going around Primark today. So let's get straight on into it. So they've bought more of their summer collection out, which is great. You can see they've got some white mom jeans here. These did have a distress detail on. They were ripped around the knee, but nothing too much. So they would be quite nice on, I think. They had lots of shirts in that I think make great bikini cover-ups, particularly if you're just going for like a simple white or black bikini. They also had these shirts at £11 which were more cropped but very soft and would make sort of really nice tucking in shirts. Sometimes shirts can be a little bit too stiff to tuck in but I feel like those were the right fabric. They also had lots of prints in. I personally love a lemon print in summer. I think it was Dior who sort of set this trend off. Love the detail of this top though. I mean, £9 and it's just got these gorgeous, cute little buttons down. They had lots of 90s patterns in, so if you're really into that, Primark is the place to go at the moment. Although they did have lots of plain, simple basics, which I personally really like. I love that dress there for £8. And of course, they've got all their vest tops in, which are just perfect for sort of knocking around the house at this time of year. I loved those shorts for £10 and I really like the swimsuit and I feel like the swimsuit and the shorts will go together if you're on holiday. Um, these shorts were a little bit smarter, a bit too short to wear to the office but you could definitely go for drinks out and they would look really smart. These would also look really lovely on holiday, very casual. I'm loving all the kind of muted tones they've got going on, so the oranges, the khakis and the creams. I thought those sandals were absolutely gorgeous for £6, very trendy with the square toe. I really don't feel like you can be a classic tan shoe at this time of year. They also had these cargo trousers in for £15 if you want to dabble in the trend. And then they had these cream sort of wide leg trousers, again really really smart. And they also had leather blazers still in at £25. I've actually got a leather blazer from Primark and it's about a year old and has lasted so well. So impressed that this coat was only 17 not lined but perfect for this time of year where you sort of want something to cover you up because of the breeze but nothing too hot. I love the distressed denim next to cream and camel. In fact, I think those jeans with that body and that um, jacket would look lovely. And where else can you get a leather jacket for £14? If you want to oversize it so it looks a little bit more expensive, I think that's a good way to go. Um, there was also selling um, body warmers in there, really cheap. I find body warmers can actually be quite expensive from online stores, so definitely worth hitting up Primark. They also had a plenty Plenty of sunglasses in. I really like these ones at £3. You know, just something basic and not too out there. It's going to go with every outfit. And then lots of stripy tops. I don't know what it is about stripes this year, but I'm totally back into them. And for £6, you really can't go wrong. Um, this is kind of like more, I mean, they had like more of a 90s kind of those pale pinks and pale lilacs. Well, 90s slash early noughties, I would say, some of this stuff is. I really like the shape of these trousers on other people. I'm not sure whether I can pull it off myself, but yeah, I've seen so many girls wear those kind of like high-waisted, baggier style trousers and they look so cool. can't go wrong with a, a beige body at this point I mean you can just throw it on with anything and it will look nice and we can see they've got lots of different colors I quite like the gray lilac kind of reminds me of skims 
they also had these comfy shorts again perfect for just kind of going around the house running errands in you just put a big baggy t-shirt on and some chunky trainers and then lots of bikinis in it's so nice to see that they're doing high-waisted bikinis because i have a long tongue <laughs> and i need that high-waistedness um, this gorgeous cover up was only 15 pounds and then these are very I'm gonna put it very lightweight short so yeah perfect if you are going away somewhere and then these gorgeous dresses I mean 11 pounds so cheap you can see I'm very much into the tailored shorts I keep picking up the shorts in Primark I think I should have actually got some and I fell in love with this skirt it was only 13 pounds and I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous and it didn't look like Primark at all I do love these style of dresses, kind of more utility style, however the fabric is terrible for creasing so if you like your ironing or if you say, I don't think anybody likes it but if you don't mind ironing they always look really nice, I'm terrible, I haven't ironed in about two years but I do steam occasionally when I absolutely have to. And then moving on into shoes, so they've got loads of these flip flops in love these for four pounds i don't even know how they've made those for four pounds but if you want an alternative it's like the 90p flip-flop then those would look fab around the pool to fair even just going shopping in the summer when it's like really hot and stuffy in the shops they look really nice lots of different chunky trainers and then they have these wedged sandals and there is a designer brand that they are totally ripping them i can't think of the name right now and i've seen so many people wear them and they go with so many summer dresses and just look so elegant just for giving you that extra height and then of course they've got all of their mule style shoes and I've got the cream ones and yeah I wear them all the time I love these backless ones as well very Gucci-esque um, I do love that coral pink I'm not sure whether I could style it very well though and then they do have that their basic gladiator sandals I really don't feel like you can go wrong with gladiators I always have to have a pair every year and Primark is usually my go-to because they're cheap especially if you are going to a beach even if it's just in the UK you know I don't know some just kind of ruin stuff so I don't like to spend too much money on those sorts of things and then into the bag section you can see they've got pops of colour and then this is that Zara bag dupe and um, the chain is not as thick but I feel like this is definitely more of a trend bag so if you don't want to spend, I don't know how much it is in Zara, £30 probably, I think it was about £10 in Primark. Now I love the straw hats, I just feel like straw hats look so classy. And I love the straw bags as well. I really wish they had that black one in the brown colourway though because I think I definitely would pick that up. I've also got some really nice hair clips in. I've seen loads of people just wearing those out and about and they look so nice. My hair is just so long and so thick that the clips can not hold it. Um, and now moving on into the homeware department. My store doesn't have a massive homeware department, but they did have some nice things. I do like a patterned sheet and they had some really nice cushion covers in that you can see. Lots of their bohemian style cushions as well. I really think they're great prices at £10, £7 for the smaller ones. I mean, it's a great way to just change up the living room or your bedroom without spending loads of money. Same with tea towels in the kitchen. They had so many pretty ones. You can see they've got a lemon design one there as well. And then they had a few accessories in. This section was particularly shiny, but I do feel like this sort of stuff works in bathrooms. I love that black dish, but I know that I just fit it with junk, i.e. earrings and other bits of just bits and bobs I've got bobbles grips <laughs> um, and then yeah this section was really pretty I really like this eucalyptus in the it's kind of like a creamy grey colour and then moving on into their candles you can't go wrong with Primark candles it may not be the strongest smelling admittedly but the look of them is so beautiful I love the simplicity of their designs this one had been reduced to £4 but it only looked like it's 50 p more expensive um, but that was it for this video I really do hope you liked it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one bye bye